thought I'd make a short video about welding and shadowing on your Cricut Design Studio. Uh, the first thing you do is bring down the letters that you want. Uh, I'm going to just do a quick one with uh, I'm going to do uh, letters with some shapes. Uh, I heart you. And I'm using Georgian basic shapes. I like to bring mine over to this, find the center part on there. It's a little X. I don't know if you can see it. And that'll show the center part of the, whatever design you're doing. And I like to center it up with the, um, the meeting point on the uh, your board. Now, make sure you hit, while it's highlighted, hit the welding. And what that does is it scoots things over. Now you, it scoots things over to your left. Now you can nudge it. You highlight one of the items. And it'll turn red. Then you just hit up here. Let me zoom in. The nudge button. And that's where the weld button is. You hit the weld. Now, all you do, zoom back out a little bit, is hit your nudge button and nudge that item over. If you can see, it's nudging over. And all you want it to do is just touch it. Now, you highlight your next one. You gotta touch the line and it'll turn red. Then you hit your nudge button again to nudge it over. Now I'd like to center my thing back up again. This just helps me with the shadowing. Now if you hit preview, you'll see on your preview where you nudged it and you touched it there'll be like a light gray line there. The dark line will be your cut line. That's where it'll cut. So it'll join those two areas together. Now to do the shadow of the same. Now, after you've hit your shadow key, you type in your, you, you put in your same characters. My I heart you. Make sure the weld button is hit. And then you want to nudge these letters together so that they'll weld. So nudge, highlight one of them just like you did with the other ones. Highlight it and nudge it over. Then you highlight the last one and nudge it over. Now you're going to have to make some more adjustments. Now after you got these ones close enough together, you move them on top of your other items. What I like to do is center the very first one, the very first item, which is the eye. And then I'll highlight my heart again, the shadow heart. And I'll nudge it over till it's centered, just where I want it to be. Then I'll highlight my U and I'll nudge it over to right where I want it to be. And if you hit your Alt button, you can see that I have a perfect shadowing and outline. Now all you need to do is you highlight your shadow and I like to move it out of the way. Sometimes I'll even put it on a different page if it's too big. And you highlight your original item and move it over. Like, see, it's going to be too big. So all you do is you open up a new page. Go back to your first page. Your first page can be your original. Your second page, all you do is you highlight the item you want, make it highlight, hit copy, Okay. 
Okay, the first thing I did was opened up a new page. That's this button right here. And this, when you op hit the new page, a blank screen will appear. Go back to that section over there. Open up your first page. Hit your, highlight the section that you want to do. You'll see it'll have the bar with all the arrows around it. Hit copy. The second one after page is copy. Go to your new page that's blank. The third one down will be your paste. Hit your paste button and your shadow will appear on that page. Now to, if you want to see it again to make sure it's all welded, hit your cut, preview cut. And if you could see where I had moved it before because it's still on that page. The shadow is there. I'll go back to my first page. Now that I have this moved to my second page, I'm just going to delete this one. Make sure you have it saved first before you move it over. Okay, there is your first page. Your second page is your shadow. It'll show up. That's how it's going to look. Now, to name each of my pages, I'm going to right click anywhere on the page. This little box will appear. In the box where it says Untitled Page, you can just back, get that off, and I'm going to title my page I Love You. Then hit Change Page Name. And now you'll see. On the top of that page, right over here, is your new page name. Go to your second page. Do the same thing. Click on it. Right click on it. The box will appear. It'll say Untitled Page. Back it up and put I Love You Shadow. Then you hit change page name. And then your I heart you, I love you shadow will appear on that one. Now to save your project, go up to the top of your page here under file. Hit file. Hit save as. Then your project screen will appear. In the file name, down below here, type in I, whatever your, I usually put whatever the first one is. I love you. And hit save. Now that, that project that you just did is saved. I do this when I'm opening up multiple windows. Sometimes even after the first window or the second window, I'll save in case I made an error or something happens and I walk away and somebody touches the computer and messes it up. I can always go back in and open that other item. So what we did today was working in a design studio. We did shadow, welding, changing your page, your, uh, uh, changing your page name and then saving your project. Uh, now all you have to do is you have it connected to your Cricut and all you do is put your paper in. Remember hit to do page to, to cut page one you need to have page one first. Then to touch page cut page two you do page two and hit cut if you have the expression, you will have room on your keypad, your um, your your uh, cutting sheet, to put both colors on. And you, instead of having two pages, you can have one. Put your two different colors and just tell it to cut, and it'll cut both ones. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope it helps. Thanks a lot.